All right, this video is about a Packard engine. It's the PX9. This is a 2020. It says it's uh, going into D rate. Now, as you can tell, there's not a lot of hours on this. 2,360 hours. And we have about 10 of these trucks all have the same problem. You know, around 2,000 hours, sometimes earlier. You see it has an EGR problem there. Most of this is EGR. Uh, the coolant ones are inactive. That's from a last service. But what I found is the main problem with these engines going in D rate is actually a clogged EGR tube. There's actually two ports here. As you can see, they get pretty cooked up here. See all that? This is probably one of the worst I've seen lately. Same thing with EGR, gets pretty nasty in there. I'll take this off, clean it out as best I can. With only 2,000 hours on it, really, nothing should be wrong with the EGR or anything else. What the problem is, is these ports here, these two ports. It's mainly this one. This one gets clogged, and then I'll throw a code. So this port goes through here, down, and through here, and it should come out the side. So like I said, 99% of the time, this port's clogged, gives you the D-rate. You got, you know, three hours before it goes into, I guess, a limp mode or D-rate mode. And then, uh, yeah, then you can't drive it. So what I do is I, I'll clean out all this and I'll clear this tube. I use, uh, you know, any wire, mechanics wire, to clear that all out and scrape all this out. Blow it out, air gun. Clean out this one. This one's never really clogged. Never. It's always this one. Clogged right through there. And once you do that, clear out the codes. Go ahead and put it through regen. And uh, that'll do it. D rate code, go. I also saw another video where a guy recommended pulling the plug on the side here. I'll get in there so you can see it. I mean, it's not a bad idea, but I've done that before. And the problem's not really getting it out. It's getting it back in. Because you got a steel plug in an aluminum housing. So the time I had a problem with is came out fine, cleaned it. You know, cleaned it out real well. Then when I went to, you know, put in the plug again, it wouldn't catch the threads. The threads. So I pulled out the plug and looked at it. And I can tell there's this aluminum, like, shavings are kind of bent you know embedded into the threads so it wouldn't really tap in so it's it's it is risky pulling that plug out and then putting it back in don't i don't really i don't recommend it another step i also did was once i pulled the egr out i told you i was going to clean it out pretty well so i took it out i cleaned it out there was a ton of stuff in here there's a ton I still got to clean a little more but i wanted to show you where i'm at so I clean it out, I blew it all out. And to really clean it out and blow it out, you really do have to open this EGR up a little more. You can use a flat screwdriver to kind of get underneath it. Be careful, because it does seat in there. And you don't want anything to happen to the seat. So once you get it, you can kind of get that wide open. Put something in there to keep it wide open. It's hard to do it one hand. As you can see, once I get it wide open, then I really start cleaning it out. Blowing air through it. And uh, just make sure it's clear I blow both directions. This way and that way. And like I said, I'm going to take a little bit of brake clean and a rag. Clean all this out real well. And put it back together. Since this one was one of the dirtiest ones I've seen lately, I noticed inside this pipe was had some carbon buildup also. So I went ahead and took this pipe off. I'm going to clean this out entirely. And I looked at it and it's got a good chunk going there. I might as well clean it all out. Don't want that getting stuck in a port again. I'm doing this all over again. Not necessary but this one's pretty, pretty built up. I also wanted to say that uh, when I made this video it's not 
like what they do at a dealer. You know, if you go to a dealer with a D rate problem, it's, you know, it's, they're gonna say it's the EGR. They're sure as hell ain't gonna clean it for you. They're gonna replace it. And most, you know, most people can't afford to spend eight hundred dollars on just a part alone, just the EGR. When you really don't have to do that, but that's what they're gonna do because that's what's in your procedure is to replace each arm, uh, maybe replace even the differential pressure sensor, and who knows what else they might tag on. And plus, you bring it to a dealer and say, this vehicle, this truck is how you make money. You need to, you know, get it on the road as fast as you can. You bring it to the dealer, we had some sit there for about a week before we actually got it back. And I can only imagine if somebody own operates their own vehicle, their own truck, and waiting around for a week not making any money and actually spending more than you have to. So this is mainly why I'm making this video. It's for you guys. Something I wanted to add is that it's easy to get to your old EGR system. If you just go ahead and take off the air cleaner box, take it off, get out of the way, pull your air filter out, and you got a lot more room to deal with the EGR. Now also be careful when you're removing this. Because when you do remove it, I removed it so I'm gonna just show you. There's two O-rings there. Oh just be careful. Sometimes you stick to the bottom of this and you don't notice it you might drop one but you're definitely gonna need them to put it back together. And then also when you do pull this EGR off and let's just say you're just doing this in your own uh, backyard or whatever you're doing it by yourself without the dealer obviously this gasket here usually comes off in one piece I never had one tear or anything and if you had to you can reuse it I've done that a few times when I was in a pinch and I really had to get this truck back on the road I just went ahead and reused it and never leaked it was fine but of course always recommended change gaskets so I just cleared all the codes from the computer Reset it, you see, our D-rate is gone, I'm going to let it run for a while, I might even put it through a regen, just to, uh, you know, clear out anything else possibly in there. <laughs>